On today's episode, we have Koston Blake from AZ Rank, and he's going to be talking with us about how to rank on Walmart and customer sentiment about shopping on Walmart, as well as some of the most popular categories to sell on Walmart. So this and so much more. How cool is that? Pretty cool, I think. If you guys would like to network with other Walmart sellers, make sure to join our brand new Facebook group called Helium 10 Winning with Walmart. You can actually just search for that on on Facebook or you can actually go to h10.me forward slash Walmart group and you can go directly to that page. So make sure to join. You can tag me and carry with questions and ask questions of other Walmart sellers or even share your own experiences in that Facebook group. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Serious Sellers podcast by Helium 10. My name is Carrie Miller, and I'm going to be your host. And this is our Walmart Wednesday, where we answer all of your questions about Walmart, and we bring in guests that are experts in the Walmart field. So today, I'm very, very excited to bring on Kostin Blake, and he is from... Um, AZ rank. And so I've actually worked with him. And if many of you probably know his wife, Alina, um, I've worked with both of them uh, for a lot of different uh, projects. And so I'm very excited. They've been selling on Walmart for a while. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and bring Kostin on. Welcome. <laughs> oh, hi, Kerry. Thank you for coming on and, and talking with us about Walmart. It's nice for me to be to be here. I'm pretty nervous about, but I hope we, we can uh, bring back, uh, we can bring some uh, very useful information for your uh, audience. I think you're going to do great. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the question. So the first one I want to ask you is, um, can you tell us a little bit about about, you know, your background and experience in the e-commerce space, just particularly with um, selling on Walmart. So my uh, background, I'm based in uh, Romania, so that this is the reason why it's 10 p.m. I'm speaking at, uh, I'm trying to speak at 10 p.m. Uh, I guess I was an early adopter of um, e-commerce in uh, Romania and also an early adopter uh, of uh, uh, Walmart uh, Marketplace. Uh I liked uh, I like the challenges so this is why I uh, when they opened the marketplaces the marketplace I applied immediately uh, luckily for me I, w- I didn't have any issues to be approved because right now there are still people that have issues with uh, getting approved by Walmart uh, I don't find any logic uh, from Walmart to not approve big sellers on Amazon but uh, that's uh, that's life so I like to play with the Walmart platform and uh, I discover thing. I I'm discovering things, uh, new things every day. Yeah, very cool. Um, thank you. And so, so I guess that kind of answers my next question is like, what what inspired you to sell products on Walmart? So I think it's you kind of already answered that. <laughs> but do you have any kind of insights? Because a lot of people are asking, you know, should I sell on Walmart? They're not really sure if it's a good opportunity. So do you have any insights um, or like success stories from your experience in selling on Walmart? So first of all, because all the people are talking about uh, brands and branding and building a brand, uh, in my opinion, uh, if you want to become a real brand, you need to be on more uh, platforms, on, on more uh, sales channels. Uh, not to just uh, rely on uh, Amazon because I think most of the people that are trying to apply to Walmart are coming from uh, from uh, Amazon. So my insight is, I mean, uh, I all, all the time I advise, especially my European friends that are selling on Amazon in Europe and they want to expand in in uh, US because most of them have uh, has a uh, have a, a big range of products. I encourage them to try Walmart first, not Amazon. Amazon in US is pretty difficult than Amazon Europe. Just to get their feet wet on with uh, American customers, I always said that maybe they should think to to start with uh, Walmart in US. And so, have you seen some success for from any of those people selling? Like, uh, do they, do they get more familiar? Most of the people are afraid, but I know some. I know some people that uh, that uh, they've been to our company and uh, they are successfully on uh, Walmart. Uh, 
I really think that uh, in at some point, th- this is actually one of my personal projects for next year is just to develop a range of product just for Walmart. Yeah, that's actually an interesting thought because um, I have talked to Walmart and they said that the, the products that do the best are um, complementary products to what's already on the Walmart marketplace. So kind of creating products that are just for Walmart for products that are just not even on there, I think is a really good idea. So I think that's a, a great plan. The next question is, uh, since you all have a company called AZ Rank and I've used you all for ranking on Amazon and uh, you know Walmart. Um, and so you basically help people to rank in these different platforms. So how important is product ranking on Walmart and how does it impact the sales for it, for um, sellers? We can talk about the ranking uh, in every platform. So in every platform you are, you just, you need to think about the ranking. So particularly for Walmart, um, I uh, just show you that just, uh, just before today I did some tests and uh, Lately, I mean, especially for the niches that are not so big, uh, add to carts and even some clicks, sometimes they are working and uh, they are working fine. So you don't just need to to place orders. But at some point, if you want to be on top of the page, you need also to, to place uh, some orders. But just to start some add to carts and some clicks, even from your friends and family, uh, because the TOS, it's uh, not uh, like in Amazon, you can uh, you can do. Okay, that's a really good, really good tidbit there. Um, so can you maybe give a little bit more insight about like what you all do, what your strategy is for ranking products on Walmart? You don't have to go into details, but how, how do you usually, you know, go about helping people ranking on Walmart? It's depending on the niche. So basically... We uh, we tried for some customers also the add to cards, which are pretty difficult to to be made. But you can always use uh, platforms, uh, uh, micro workers platforms. Even you can use even uh, Mechanical Turk or I don't know. I think there are also other platforms for micro tasks, and uh, with a few cents you might get some clicks or, or some um, add to cards. And just to see evolution and from time to time, just ask your friends just to place from in the first week one order. And it, it always depends about, uh, on the niche, but if the niche is not very uh, crowded, you can try that and you might be successful. What, what kind of keywords do you recommend focusing on when you're trying to rank? Do you think that um, you know, long tail keywords are good or, or is it what do you think about the, the types of keywords you focus on for Walmart? Well, for Walmart, uh, I don't believe in uh, long tails. I just believe in uh, pretty broad keywords. I mean, of course, they, they need to be specific to your products, but not to be long tail keywords. You, you, you should try. You should try always the, the, the search bar recommended, what Walmart is recommending in the search bar. Uh, I uh, found them very useful uh, and um, not focusing like in Amazon on a bunch of keywords, just take two or three in the beginning, the most important ones and uh, focus on them in, in the beginning. And if you are ranked well, you can uh, develop this strategy with uh, other keywords. Yeah. And just for anyone who doesn't know that we actually do have two keyword research tools for Walmart. We have Magnet and Cerebro. Um, so you can do a lot of really great uh, keyword research for Walmart on those tools for, uh, through Helium 10. Um, okay. So um, we talked a, a bit earlier and you mentioned that you conducted a survey um, with over 300 people about their shopping experiences on Walmart. Um, so what were um, like the main objectives of the survey and what kinds of things did you discover? First of all, I'd be very curious to, to apply the same, sur- the same survey next year and see the changes. Uh, maybe we can share this, uh, these results of the survey on the chat. So. We always uh, share our opinions about Walmart, but I think it's better all the time to return to the people, the people in our community and ask them what they think about Walmart. So I find I found it very nice that uh, I mean, very encouraging for the ones that are starting uh, a business uh, on Walmart. 
just to see that, um, for example, uh, fifty percent of them have uh, uh, have Walmart Plus, even if they have Amazon Prime. So they consider a very good add-on to their ha household to have uh, to have uh, Walmart Plus or and uh, Amazon Prime. So that's a very interesting information. Also, I found out that uh, a lot of people are checking both Amazon and Walmart for the prices. And uh, a lot of people are following the offers and the prices. Uh, we find out, we found out also that the main categories they are buying in Walmart are groceries. Most of the people said that that uh, groceries in Walmart uh, um, it's much better than Amazon Fresh. Groceries, it's a category that it's uh, much better than Amazon uh, Fresh. Uh, other categories where people are shopping in Walmart are toys, electronics, uh, things like that. But all all those. Uh, all those categories are uh, in uh, that survey. We we kind of I wanted to to make the people to write with their own words <laughs> instead of just uh, checking some uh, boxes and and uh, also uh, I think the the results are uh, very interesting. So for example, around thirty percent of the people said that they they have some products that are buying only on Walmart, not in Amazon, uh, things like that. I mean, I guess these are useful information for the ones that uh, are trying to build uh, a range of products in, in Walmart because they have also a direction with uh, some uh, categories. And... Uh, also, in my opinion, after seeing the results of this survey, I I believe that this is a platform that will uh, will grow in the next future. I think that there's a lot more exposure to Walmart.com, especially uh, because they also have this advertising where you can basically do Google ads through your through the Walmart platform, and you'll your stuff will show up in Google uh, Shopping. So you can see a lot more exposure of your products there. When you when you're searching for anything on Google, you'll see Walmart um, pop up pretty quickly. Um, so there's you know a lot more exposure there. Also, I noticed for Walmart Plus, a lot of credit cards are giving free Walmart Plus access. So if you use the credit card to pay for Walmart Plus, then the credit card company reimburses you like um, American Express Platinum is one of them. There's a few other cards that I've seen where they literally give you a free Walmart Plus membership. So Walmart's doing a really good job of kind of giving people incentive to, you know, start shopping on Walmart too. So I think that's a very interesting that, you know, people are, you know, intending on getting Walmart Plus or they already have it. So very, very good insights. Yes. Yeah. I'm not living in US, so I don't know all those information. So I was just preparing to say that, it, I mean, I don't know if Walmart has a, a, a one year subscription like Amazon has. I think mm -hmm. it will be a good add on and uh, a, a good way to attract people to to their platform. And uh, also, also, it's uh, very good. For Walmart, I mean, this is a plus Walmart has that uh, they can pick some goods in uh, stores. Yeah, definitely. Um, was there anything on that survey that you found kind of that you weren't expecting that you felt thought was um, not something you thought people would say on the survey or was everything kind of what you were thinking? I was very surprised at uh, a lot of people that uh, are uh, buying usually on Amazon are checking also the Walmart platform. Mm -hmm. So it, it was, uh, I mean, I was really surprised. Yeah. I think that's pretty surprising too. I think it's, it's definitely growing because I think probably a year or two ago, it wasn't the same. So that is yeah. very, very interesting. This is, this is why, this is why I'm very curious uh, what it will, it will happen with this survey next year to see the trend. Is there any kind of strategy that you think based on what, um, the survey revealed, like what, what kinds of things do you think sellers should focus on based on what you found in that survey? We all knew that uh, Amazon, uh, that uh, Walmart likes uh, pretty cheap products. So if 
they want to move their brand from Amazon to expand to Walmart, I think I think they should create a few products that uh, are cheaper than uh, than in Amazon and just to sell on Walmart and also on the other pro- platforms, uh, but uh, just n- not to have them in Amazon. I think this is number one. Uh, if they are starting ra- right now an e-commerce business and the brand, they should focus on the category the, or on specific categories. Uh, first of all, of course, they can they can uh, see in the survey what uh, people answered, and o- also they can check where Walmart uh, is not selling many products because if they are selling products, it's pretty difficult to 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 rank there. Yeah, I know there's a lot of brands that do kind of like a, a, a different brand that's a cheaper brand. And I've noticed big brands in Walmart. When I've actually gone into the store, I see Ralph Lauren, like Ralph Polo Lauren. I saw a BCBG and a few other really kind of bigger brands that I would have never thought would have been there. And they're basically kind of like the cheaper version of their, you know, what, what they already sell. So it's kind of, you know, I think that's a really good strategy. And I do know some other sellers who have, maybe some products on Amazon, but they do the, the, the little, a little bit cheaper version. They kind of rebranded a little bit for Walmart and they've done well that way. So that's a really good thought on that. Exactly. I mean, in this moment, uh, we have uh, three or four products. We are selling on only one Walmart. Uh, two of them we used to sell on Amazon, but the cost of advertising was very high. So we moved them to Walmart. We, we sell pretty decent quantities, but actually we get some profit in Amazon. We just selling, but no profit. Yeah. It's a challenge one. Um, I did see a question in here um, that uh, somebody asked, Jeremy asked, how do you initiate the Google exposure through Walmart? So the way to do this is what you're going to do is you're going to go to your growth opportunities tab. Once you log into Walmart seller center, and then it's a tab that's called SEM. So SEM is, where you can create these um, Google campaigns. So it's not through Connect, it's actually on the Walmart Seller Center part. So growth opportunities and then SEM. So that's where you where you find those. That's a really good question because it's kind of, some of these things are hidden and you kind of, some days, oh, it's, you, you go in there and you see some new things that pop up. So it's kind of uh, interesting that way. By the way, also in uh, growth opportunity, you can see the performance of your product. Of course, it's not like uh, very detailed like in Amazon, but uh, uh, like I said before, uh, just to follow a strategy for ranking, you can see if uh, you really have exposure, you know, clicks on your products. So, First of all, I think you, you need to start with some clicks for your product. You can do it with friends and family. Doesn't matter if uh, they are doing that. Uh, if you have five friends that can do that uh, uh, every day for one week and see what it's happening. So it's not, uh, I mean, Walmart is not, I find Walmart, it's not a data driven platform like uh, Amazon. So for the ones, uh, the ones that are very data driven, I think it's pretty difficult to work on Walmart, but Walmart, it's more of a, let me say, um, instinct platform, or you can, you, you need to feel a little bit, you need to try. You got to kind of play around with things a little bit more since it's so new, you got to figure it out a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, let's move on to a different topic. And I'm curious to know what you think the most common challenges that you you faced as a Walmart seller or that you've you know seen other sellers have. So what are some of the challenges you think that are on Walmart? First of all, it's uh, opening the account. You, I mean, I guess you discussed that uh, a lot of times here, so I don't want to, to go into very big details. Maybe at some point you, <laughs> you will have uh, someone from Walmart to explain us the strategy, if uh, the, the approval strategy of the accounts, because it's, it is really annoying. There are people that are selling millions uh, of dollars in uh, Amazon and on the Shopify or or on the other platforms, they can uh, open an account with Walmart. So I don't, I don't uh, understand. 
understand why. So this is the first one. Uh, second of all, I think the common mistake is uh, co copy paste listing from Amazon. I think this is the biggest mistake everybody does. Uh, until until now, uh, I was about to say that uh, the listing score is very important. I guess it still is because Walmart tries to take care of, about uh, the catalog. But uh, I did a test if I can rank a product just by optimizing the score in a very, very small niche. Uh, happened so <laughs> right now I'm tempted to say that the listing score is not so important so maybe you can sacrifice a little bit the score just to have a, a listing that it's uh, road for your customers and not for mm -hmm. Walmart the same is in Amazon you should write listing for your customers not <laughs> for for indexing I guess this is the the common mistake, the common mistake, and also the other mistake is that sometimes people are panicking in Walmart. Things are not happening very fast, like in mm. Amazon. So you need to test a lot of things. You need to have patience, and also for the keywords, if you really want to be indexed and rank for a keyword, you need to have it in the title. A lot of people, when I ask them, you know, why they think they're not doing well, it's, and I ask them, you know, have they optimized their listing or have they focused on some keywords? Have they run ads? And a lot of times people haven't, they just copy pasted. So I think that that's probably a big challenge for people is they have to kind of focus on Walmart, like you said, and kind of test things out because each category is different too. So when I have two different categories and one things that work in one category are not working as well for me in the other category. So uh, it's kind of an interesting thing. Yes, things are happening are happening different in the different categories in in uh, in Walmart. Another question um, is for any anybody starting to sell on Walmart or that wants to start on Walmart. What advice do you have um, to give them to you know start selling on Walmart? You can make really good money in uh, Walmart by starting with a big assortment. You. I mean, you you really don't need for testing out some products. You just need to buy them from a wholesaler in US. Just uh, put it on your list it with uh, your own brand, different uh, different uh, UPC, and just you can just uh, test it with uh, mm -hmm. twenty pieces. I mean, you can start this kind of business in one week. Yeah, you can start. A lot of people do actually also wholesale that I've um, talked to where they yes. actually use the brand, but they bundle it. So like they'll bundle a bunch of different things together that they see people are already buying together on Amazon and other places. So they'll just bundle those and they create their own UPC for that bundle. And then it, it, there's no competition for it because other people exactly. don't have that bundle. Exactly. Right now, uh, I'm, uh, Walmart, it's uh, really uh, allowing you to play with different brands. It, it's not like the same policy with Amazon. So you can play with those, uh, those brands yeah. if you want, or even if you are thinking to, to have a private label brand, you just buy from a liquidator or for, from a wholesaler, just do bundling, just uh, buy some product from anywhere else and just test it. Even if you are losing a few dollars, it's very yeah. important to, to test. You can also test, uh, you know, with AliExpress too, because you can, you know, yes. get things in shipped and you yes. do smaller quantities. So AliExpress is a good place too. What do you, what do you think is the future of selling on Walmart and, and how are you kind of planning on changing your strategies for what, what do you see as the future? Like what does 2024 look like you think for Walmart? Uh, well, I think Walmart is, um, is still flexible and you can test a lot of things, but unfortunately I see a trend that they will become like Amazon, I guess, because they have a lot of employees that uh, leave, uh, leave, um, uh, left Amazon and uh, went to Walmart. And yeah. uh, actually I thinking they are doing the same mistakes like uh, Amazon. Uh, I was expecting uh, for them to listen a little bit more the sellers. Of course, every company is focused uh, on uh, their customers, but uh, guess what? Also, the sellers are focused on the customers. So they, yes. at some point, I think 
I think th this will make a big difference just to 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 listen some sellers and some uh, some needs. So the strategy yeah. for 2024 it's also from my side and from my point of view is just testing a lot of things. A lot of things will change. Maybe the rules will be different in two months in Walmart platform uh, than, than uh, they are now. It is possible mm -hmm. uh, because you, you can see also a trend that they are changing uh, a lot of things. But I guess for next year, at least, it's still a platform where you can test a lot. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much... Um uh, we're coming to an end here. So thank you to everyone who joined the live and thank you so much, Kostin, for, you know, sharing all this information with us. You, you gave a lot of really good, uh, valuable tidbits on ranking, uh, for Walmart and just, um, strategies for Walmart. So thank you so much for, for joining and, and answering those questions and, and talking with us about those strategies. So, uh, thanks again. And I uh, will see everyone again, I guess in the new year in 2024, um, for Walmart Wednesday in January. Bye everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. Bye.